In this video, we're going to take a look at choosing an appropriate model given a set of data. And one way that we can do that is to graph the data and then see if it looks kind of like something that uh, we might be able to write an equation for. And there's three different types that we're going to look at in this situation. And the first one is linear. And to determine if it's linear based on what we see in our table, in our ordered pairs, we're going to look for a constant first difference in the y's. Okay? Constant first difference in the y values. For something to be quadratic, we're going to look again at the y values for a constant second difference second difference for it being quadratic and finally for it to be exponential we're gonna look for a constant ratio between the values in other words it's being multiplied by the same thing to go from one to the next now also if we were to graph these things we could look for a particular shape Remember, linear is just a nice straight line, like so. Quadratic, that gets us into something like this, the good old parabola shape. And exponential, remember exponentials look something like this. Okay, So, those are some of the things we can look for, uh, given these different types of uh, pieces of data. So, let's look at this first one right here. In this case, Another thing that I mentioned or that I didn't mention yet is that the x's also have to have a constant ratio if we're going to look at the y's. We can't just have a bunch of random sort of x's and expect the y's to have one of these situations. We need the x's to be in a constant ratio. So in this case, in all these cases, here we're going up by 1's. Here we're going up by threes. So that's good. So then we can take a look at the y values. In this first one, let's see, how are we getting from one to the next? Well, in terms of adding, it's six plus six would be twelve, plus twelve to get twenty-four, plus twenty-four to get forty-eight. Hmm. Huh, maybe. I think it's multiplication. Six times two is twelve. So we're going times two. 12 times 2 is 24, and 24 times 2 is 48. Well, which of our models has that type of situation? Well, exponential. We have a constant ratio, so that's an exponential situation. Also, if I were to graph that, my graph's going to look like this, and notice, see how it's going up, going up, and then just going up like crazy? Okay, that suggests exponential. So that's uh, the first one. All right, let's get that graph out of there and take a look at this second one. For this one, again, we're going to start the x's are in a constant ratio, so we're good to go there. But then we take a look at the y's. All right, what's going on? 10 to 18, that's plus 8. 18 to 28 is plus 10. 28 to 40 is plus 12. Huh. First differences are not constant, so we need to look at the second differences. 8 plus 10, that would be plus 2. And 10 to 12, well, that would be plus 2. Hey, there we go. The second differences are constant. That means a quadratic would fit that given set of data. So let's take a look at what that graph looks like if we were to graph those things. Okay, here we are. Notice it looks very similar to the exponential, but it's not going up quite as quickly. Also, see here how it's going up a little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more. Exponential, it'll just go crazy. Um, and also, sometimes it would be helpful to have some data over here. Sometimes we don't have that data, so we have to make our best guess. The graph isn't quite as helpful in this situation, so but looking at the table of data, we can tell that a quadratic model would be best. Alright, so that's that one. 
Then finally, let's take a look at this last one. Here, we're going from 4 to negative 2. Well, that would be minus 6. Negative 2 to negative 8, that would be minus 6. Negative 8 to negative 14 would be minus 6. Which model? Linear, because we have that constant first difference. Again, in this one, if we were to graph that, let's take a look at what it looks like, and notice that shape, the nice straight line here, and that suggests linear. So, choosing model for data between linear, quadratic, and exponential, there's several things we can look at. The first is a graph. Just graph whatever ordered pairs you're given. See what the shape is, remembering these general shapes that we see in each of those types of um, equations. Also, we can take a look at the y values of our ordered pairs. If there's a constant first difference, it's a linear situation like this last one. If there's a constant second difference, it's quadratic. And finally, if there's a constant ratio, meaning we're multiplying by something to get from one term to the next, that is an example of an exponential. Hope this video was helpful. Keep working hard on your math, and I know you'll do great.